Welcome back to another Plastic On Review! Woohoo! Now you can fight mighty battles with Triaxe and the Virox army! Recently, the minor battle skirmishes between these two countries erupted in full-scale war. Hundreds of land and air combat vehicles battled across the land. With their huge fighting machines, they staged the most massive battles ever. The largest armies in the world are in your hand. Take command! Megaforce, brought to you by Kinder. Some assembly required. Vehicles separately. Welcome back to another Plastic On review. Today we're going to cover something completely different because it's you no, know, it's not really Transformers, but it kind of transforms. I'm talking about Kenner Megaforce. You know, tie the uh, Triax guys. Yeah, those guys. Well, here's Backlash. They're gigantic plane of awesome payloadness. This thing carries a large payload. This thing is literally a awesome bomber. The design of this thing really reminds me of the old um, F-111 Aardvark which a lot of people from the uh, that research planes from like Korean and um, the Vietnam age this plane really looks similar to that thing except for this scale is just completely off because this thing is supposed to be enormous I mean so large that it actually has a smaller gunship canopy here at the very beginning and this right here would be your main cockpit area here on the front the green on this thing is really really crazy it is not really a neon green but more of an I would say teal it's got a real odd color to it it's got this awesome little cannon here on top as well here on the very bottom. Now this thing does kind of rotate a little bit. And anybody out there knows anything about this thing, these are very very difficult to come by. These little teeny tiny cannons that are actually on this guy. He's supposed to actually have two little um, guns that come off here and here which I unfortunately do not have along with a couple other turrets that would be here and here. The reason I know all this is because I actually had one of these when I was a kid and I absolutely loved this toy. Unfortunately this is not my original one but these guys are hard enough to come by let alone trying to find one complete. They normally would come with four missiles, I only have two, and they would plug in under here just like a G.I. Joe vehicle. G.I. Joe vehicles tend to have this uh, dog bone shape here allows the uh, missiles to actually plug in. Now it's got storage on the underside of both wings and also storage here on the very back. Why? Because this thing here can fire missiles as well. And very successfully does it fire missiles. I'm going to plug this in for later use and pull the on here off just to show you guys a bit of a uh, gimmick. Now with Megaforce a lot of people out there knows that these things are filled with gimmicks. Every one of these vehicles were. He also happens to have a triple barrel cannon here. Now what's crazy is you got this little port here on top. Well, this port here would probably be more than likely for a helicopter or you can just take one of the uh, little Megaforce vehicles it's got this big gigantic square here on the bottom and then successfully plug it in and some of these throughout the years have got to the point that they really don't like to plug in very well because the plastic's kind of stiff but if you do find these guys these right here tend to get broke off very very easily so you gotta be really careful on that it's got a lot of the uh, a lot of thrusters on the back of this thing. And this just is, just shows you how big this vehicle would have been because they just filled this thing with all that. On the underside, it's got a lot of molded detail, along with molded-in wheels. Unfortunately, they do not roll, 
but you can tell by just the scale of the landing gear this thing would have been massive. It doesn't really have like a bomb bay or anything, but this thing always reminded me of a large super bomber or something. This thing is just completely awesome. Now let's get into the gimmick. The gimmick on this guy is you lift up the entire tail portion of this jet. And when you do that, it reveals a lot going on back here. You have place here in order to actually place one of your little triax vehicles can actually sit there successfully and actually be stored here. It did not come with these guys though. When you do try to find one of these guys complete, he does come with a different little vehicle that I'll reveal later. But this whole thing here comes out. And this whole assembly sometimes likes to get caught because it's got this uh, large barrel. But it turns into another tank. I'll get into that here in a couple minutes. They did not skim out on detail. That's one thing that Kenner did very, very well. They even put like a diamond plated flooring here. And this does ramp down. So if you really wanted to place like a small ramp here, it would actually ramp all the way up. You can see there's quite a bit of cargo load in here. You have room here to place three vehicles successfully, whether it's a helicopter, a jet, or a tank. And it also has ability, even when it's in this mode, pulling this little trap door here back, and then you are able to use the jet without the large cannon emplacement. But let's go ahead and go into another little thing this thing does. And unfortunately, this guy happens to be broken here because you're normally supposed to just flip this thing up and it would stay up. Well, unfortunately, mine had snapped off here with the little pegs. I'm probably going to get into doing maybe some little custom thing here, maybe run a bar or something through it because this is hollow. So I would be able to possibly maybe run a bar completely across and this will never come off. This does come as a assembly that you would actually have to put on if you did buy this guy brand new. He does have capability for you to pull the uh, wings off and if you do these are little bits here that you need to kind of watch out for these little mushroom things. They can break off very very easily if you are in the aftermarket trying to find one of these so just keep that in mind when you're out there. The other thing, the reason why I took this off so that way you can see this crazy engine detail going on here. This is just really interesting that they would put this here. I don't know whether this would have been engine detail or just a gigantic fuel depot. Considering this is literally right behind the intakes for the, uh, the jet system itself. So, I don't know. It's one of those things you use your imagination, right? It's imagination. My cell phone thinks that's more of a fuel depot considering this is a very large bay to be able to store other vehicles. And the other thing I really liked is the fact that they made this like a slanted wall. They didn't, you know, just go straight down and just chintz out on it. They really made this thing cool. And when it comes to buying Backlash, the other thing you really want to look out for is this. This is another one of those peg issues. This thing is not broken on mine, thank God. I'm going to um, but this is one of those things that tends to get broke a lot when it comes to trying to find one of these guys on the aftermarket. So keep that in mind when you are out there trying to find one. Anyhow, let's move away from this jet thing and go into that little tank I yanked out, shall we? Moving on to that tank thing, yeah. This is a small little mobile artillery tank. This is something that actually would be, they would probably deploy out on the battlefield while the bomber would take off and go and get another payload to bring back. It's actually got a uh, cool little gimmick here where the uh, cannon does move up and down. Ever so slightly, but it does. And it does have a 180 degree double barrel turret here. It's got a lot of molded detail throughout the entire thing as well. Well, mine's a little beat up, a little dirty, but you know, it's what happens to these things over time. Some really, really decent detail here going on throughout the treads. And it's just filled with this. 
I like the idea that it does have these little retro boosters on the back, so that right there would be like an extra push this thing would get as it's going across the battlefield. And it's also got a nice little, what seems to be an entryway hatch. Considering a lot of people don't realize this one, Megaforce, Megaforce, these things supposed to have been like the size of, th this thing is just huge, like much bigger than any other vehicle you probably ever see out there. And what else is really cool about this is if you tilt this thing, you can let the smaller vehicle out of the back. Because this thing actually would transport smaller tanks in the very back payload area. It does have these two little roll, rolling wheels here on the bottom, so it would roll pretty good. The front one here kind of catches a little bit, but, you know, that's kind of to be expected, especially how old these are. I mean, these guys did come out in 1989, so, I mean, these things are pushing quite a few years. It does still have the missile launching gimmick, like both, which are very successful missile launching gimmicks. I mean, this, this thing is awesome. I love the idea that this thing actually had a spring load missile launcher on it. Quite a few of them did, but... Not quite as accurate as this one. I always like this one much better. But taking those missiles out lets you see a little bit more of the actual detail this thing has. It's pretty cool. I actually like the idea that they didn't overdo it on detail at all, so they could have really crammed a bunch of detail in here, but it really wasn't necessary. Anyhow, let's move on to that little teeny tiny tank I just pulled out of there, right? Moving on to that little bitty tank. Yeah, the teeny tiny thing. These things were like the size of a micro machine. This thing is loaded with detail, especially how small this thing is. It is really cool that it actually does have a moving turret. And one thing I've noticed on this one here is the uh, tracks I mean, it used to be right there. I see remnants of it right there. And that's where they actually marked it. It's really cool that this green actually matches the jet and the small, the smaller transport attack vehicle. I like this. This is really, really cool. And I love the detail. The detail on this thing is just amazing because, you know, I really think Kenner probably went through almost everything Gloob was doing at the time and said, hey, we're going to try to make our own. And they did. They made these little guys. As you can see, it does have quite a bit of paint chip. But that's because these guys were solid die cast. Most of the time, you would actually find all this right here rubbed off not very long after kids would have them because these things don't have wheels. It does happen to have a uh, large port right here on the bottom, that big square peg. That is not just for assembly, but that there is for this thing to successfully set in the back of Backlash without the large transport vehicle. Anyhow, this has been Plasticon. This has been yet another crazy Mega Force review. We've got more of these coming your guys' way. And I'll see you guys around. Ta-ta for now. Bye!